Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. So today I'm bringing you another project from the Old to New collection. I'm doing the education program and this is class eight. Um, and this is uh, scene building. Um, so today I'm gonna be using uh, To The Moon um, stamp set, which is a gorgeous layering stamp set. And we're gonna create a lovely inky background like the galaxy, so a galaxy inky background. So I'm using some Distress Oxide inks. Um, the beauty of these inks is they kind of dry with a ch chalky effect um, and you can layer the colours upon each other. So I'm starting with my lightest colour which is Stormy Sky and I'm just working that colour kind of across the card from one corner to the other, concentrating it in the centre. So I'm just going to keep working this until I'm happy with the amount I've got down. And the beauty of working with the lightest colour is you can you, you can start off with the small amount and build it up. Um, I'm moving on to my Dusty Concord which is also a uh, a colour by um, Distress. Um, I've changed from my sponge dauber to my blending brushes. I just, for me, I prefer working with them, but I wanted to see how the sponging went with that colour, but I kind of decided to, to go with my dusting brushes because they just, I just find I get a better blend. Um, but I will chop and change between the two. So these dusting brushes are by Rare Earth. Um, now I've finished with my purple colour, I'm gonna move on to the Sapphire Blue, which is by Altenew, um, which has got a gorgeous tone to it. And I'm just gonna work around the card. If I feel like I've gone a bit dark in places, the lovely thing about the, the um, inks by Distress is they will lay upon each other um, and, and still have that lovely colour. I've gone around the whole card in a black just to kind of emphasise those dark areas and where I feel it's a bit darker I've brought back in some of my Distress inks. So now I'm going to bring in my spritzer bottle and I'm going to spritz some of the water into my fingertips. I'm then going to sprinkle this or splat this across the cardstock. So the beauty of working with these water-based inks is they react to water so they will lift the colour and give like a water stained effect which I'm going to use for like my star look. It's really good fun and I suggest you give it a go. So I leave it to, to develop for a moment and then take one of my rags to just dab off any excess water. So now I'm going to move on to the stamping. I'm using the Stamper Artist stamping tool. You can use any that work for you. Um, and I'm using the To The Moon and Back uh, stamp set by Altenew. I'm using uh, three gray shades, starting with Silver Lake, then a gray denim, and lastly, charcoal suit. Um, these colors work really well together and absolutely perfect for this moon image. So I don't own the dies for this stamp set but I do have some really handy punches um, in several sizes. I'm just using a two inch punch here to punch it out and it fits perfect so that works for me but if you have the dies go ahead and use the dies. I'm just gonna stamp out my sentiment and I decide to use the I love you to the and then separately moon and then separately and back. So it combinates in three stamps. I'm going to stamp my words out in black onto white cardstock and I'm going to punch them out um, or some of it out with a punch I have which is quite useful um, and it can create like like an arrow type sliver and you'll see in just a moment and the moon I'm gonna stamp out in uh, in the black again and just trim around it so I'm just cutting the end of this off with the punch to make it look like an arrow really clever 
way to use your existing punches. So I stamp out the moon a couple of times because I'm not happy with the first couple of impressions I get. And when I am happy, I'll cut that one out. So this last one, I was happy with that. Although, like from afar, they look fine, but I'm a bit particular sometimes. So once again, I'm just going to punch the and back out using my punch and then take off that end to, to give it the nice flag end. When cutting out words like this, um, I started with my smaller scissors and then I found actually using my longer scissors is better for a longer straighter edge. I'm just going to fiddle around with the design for a moment uh, just to, to find out what combination um, I particularly like and then I'm going to adhere this to the card using some foam pads. So once I'm happy and I have adhered my popped up pieces I get a piece of cardstock which is in a dark navy um, to use as a layer for my card. I'm going to adhere this to the back of my stamped piece um, with some book binding glue by uh, Pinflare. This is my go-to glue at the moment. Um, I go through stages of glue or, or um, tape runners. At the moment it's glue <laughs> and I'm loving my glue. Nice thing about using glue is you have a little bit of wiggle room to kind of really get your piece in place. What I liked about using the navy blue is it's not quite black um, which gives it a, that little hint of contrast. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Thanks again now. Bye.